Hi, my name is Arnell Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to add code in your WordPress posts. If you are a novice or a pro with using WordPress, there often comes a time when you want to be able to display programming code within your posts. The challenge is on deciding where you want to enter your text for your post. You can add it into the visual editor or the text editor. So here I'm logged into the WordPress administrator and we're going to add some HTML directly into the visual editor. When I do that, you can see that the code, the HTML code, is not being interpreted as HTML and is being displayed directly as text. If I were to take that code and copy it into the text editor, you can then see that the HTML code is being interpreted and you can see the title appear as the code indicates. There may be a time when you need to add code and you do not want it to be interpreted. You want it to be shown and displayed so that people can see it, but you don't want the, the editor to actually interpret the code as HTML or some other type of code. So in order to do that, you can actually use what are called the character entity equivalents of the ampersand or the greater than or lesser than sign so that you can show the code without it actually being interpreted by the editor. So here we have an example of that in WordPress. And I'm showing you that we're looking at the text editor. And you can see that there is some HTML here with an H2 tag. And then below that, you can see this ampersand LT semicolon, and then it says H2, then ampersand GT semicolon, and then this is the title, the same as what you saw here in the H2 tag. But the difference is that what we're going to see when we display this code is just the symbols without it being displayed. What you'll see is the characters but not the actual code being interpreted like you see above here. So we can see the less than sign or the greater than sign around the H2. And you can see this is a title, just like you see it up here, but the code is not being interpreted as HTML. You can use these character entity equivalents to show how the code will appear when creating posts in WordPress. Here are some common character entities used in code. Another handy tool that you could use to display code within your post is a tag called the pre. So I'm going to show you an example of the pre being used within a post. And here we are within a post that's being edited. And I've added a pre already with some code. Now the nice thing about the pre is that it shows the code exactly as you've entered it when you enter it in the text editor. So here you can see that I'm showing the character equivalence of particular characters within the code so that it's not being interpreted by the text editor within WordPress. So if I go to the visual, you can see that I'm showing code that can be copied, but the code actually is not being interpreted by the WordPress text editor or the visual editor in this case. Now the other thing you need to understand about using pre is that you can see that it's using the same line breaks and spacing as the code that's been added directly in the text editor. Pre is definitely one of those tags that you'll be using if you intend to show code within your WordPress posts. Thanks again for watching this video tutorial. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear any comments you have so that we know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.